because we need to create change in the platforms themselves, where they're going to take more of an, of, of an aggressive stance against this type of behavior, because just because I understand they don't want to censor people, but you do have to draw the line somewhere. And when it's abusive and when it's attacking people, there's got to be severe consequences where they get their uh, accounts at least suspended while they're under investigation, if not completely mm -hmm. shut down, in my opinion. And that's what, you know, I think we're trying to, trying to build here. Veloshny, that, that, so the trouble is that I've, I've put this in my post that I'm doing at the moment, that is that you girls are not alone. And whilst we may not, I don't think we will change them, those men. Um, but what I very much hope to do is to, for women on all these platforms to go, oh yeah, shit, me too and not feel alone and victimized yeah. and having to change profiles and stuff like that. It's a disgrace, a disgrace, mm -hmm. Malia. So, Veloshny, you're getting as bad connections, DMs, and emails. The thing about using WhatsApp, people use that now because it's free, calls and texts that's the basic selling point yeah mm, yeah but yeah it's uh based on data data usage okay so how quickly are people trying to um whatsapp get your whatsapp details all the time like it, that's almost like the first, sometimes yeah like the first question um, you know, without even saying Say hello. Yeah. 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 Can I have your WhatsApp number? Like, I don't give you my number. <laughs> you know, I, I, I tell them I prefer to retain communication on the platform. Um, I don't see I also... why, why you should move a connection. If, if there's someone you connect with on, um, on LinkedIn, um, I think once you develop a relationship, a professional relationship with a person like, like I did with you, Jonathan, um, I mean, then I would move on to another platform. Um, but otherwise, and, th and that would be just to communicate effectively, especially when you, um, you know, when you have a number of things that's, that's going on at the same time. Mm. Um, but otherwise, I don't see any reason for any person to give their number to another individual to move off the platform. That's when the danger, that's, that's really a red flag. So this pressure that ladies in business face because, so Gazelle said in an earlier show, we can't not be on social media. We don't have a choice. This is where business is conducted, but we shouldn't have to face these kinds of, of approach. And the fear, I think, is that if you set boundaries, that you're going to dissuade a potential customer. But I think, certainly from what you said, Malia, and um, Velushni, I, I, I don't get the impression that the people that are doing this ever turn into customers. Correct. Have you been sabotaged in the way that Malia has been if you block someone? Mm, no, I haven't. Okay, okay. I haven't, but I've, I've been quite direct with people and I think they don't like it. And then they come into my post and they try to put in nasty comments amongst the others. They the, do. The other right. po po yeah, like I, like I mentioned, I just, one of the comments I tagged social me to and I responded to the individual because I feel um, everyone has the right um, to, you know, to leave a comment, to engage with the post how they feel fit. However, if you want to be disruptive, then I'm not going to tolerate that. But I'll still be professional and diplomatic in how I manage it. Well, I... I... Uh, I think it, it gets uh, easier with 
with age and experience. Um, I'm not even sure how old Gazelle is, but she's probably 25. Um, may I ask you, you don't, uh, a gentleman is not supposed to ask a lady's age, but you seem quite young, like below 30? No. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You Ready. Okay. <laughs> In the borderline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. But you see, so you're 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 a generation younger than the rest of us in the room. So my question is, because you've only ever known online. So I'm before computers, before the internet, and then computers and the internet. Do you? Veloshni sounds very confident in the way she deals with stuff that is sick, perverse, uh, criminal, all sorts of weird crap is going on. How well equipped do you feel, Malia? Equipped in the in the way? sense in the sense that you're able to deal with these things because. The stories you've told us so far are you having to change in response to these horrible people. Yeah. So is that what would you what would it look like? So if we say the men are going to carry on doing what they do, what does your world look like when you will feel better, safer? What will have happened? Uh, I don't get what you are saying, actually. Some words are so, breaking, that's why. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, Veloshni is very confident at saying, yeah. no, I'm not taking this, okay. move along. You have had to close accounts and restart accounts because of similar or worse things. Okay. So what I want to know is what what do, what needs to change for you oh, to needs feel to change. yeah I don't think people will change those who did this type of thing I think because right. who did the who did this thing to me they are not even considering they are doing wrong mm. they are enjoying this thing they are happy with mm. what they are doing and they expect if you are if you don't want then you block me okay i think like this so i uh, what i did from the last one year i faced i i did face a lot of things similar to this thing uh, hello how are you what is your whatsapp number and after uh, in uh, after whatsapp number then they ask for facebook account then i ask why you need this type of uh, or other uh, social media accounts link. I am always available in LinkedIn and you can communicate through LinkedIn. So they feel uh, like why you can't give it to me. Then they start forcing me to give my number. And then I just block them right. because I think when I saw, I said to them, look, this is not uh, I'm what looking for. I'm not here for dating. I am not here for marriage. I am not here for any boyfriend. So this is a prof professional side and I'm working here. And in my uh, time zone, when I am working on uh, and the, at the night shift, two or 3 a.m. from my time, but at the same time there, I mean, in America, there are three or 3 p.m. Okay, I have to work like that. So that time, some guy from my country, they are asking, Hey, what you are doing? Why are you still awake? Why you are still online? 